I'm Dr. Healy Hamilton, and I'm a marine biologist with the Marine Conservation Institute, and my current research is focused on seahorses. Seahorses are some of the world's most fascinating fishes. Seahorses have heads like a horse, tails like a monkey, eyes that move independently, bony plated armor, and most fascinating of all, it's the males that carry the babies. As a biologist studying seahorses, I work both in the field and in the lab. We go into the field to find our animals, and then we go in the lab to study them. Out in the field, I get to go to some of the world's most amazing marine environments. I go snorkeling in mangrove forests, I go scuba diving on coral reefs, and in sponge gardens, and even what we call muck diving, where there's lots of little plants that seahorses like to wrap their tails around. Finding seahorses is really a challenge because they're amazingly well camouflaged against their backgrounds. Once I find them, I'm trying to get a little tip of their tail or a little piece of a fin that I clip off, put in a test tube, and take back to the lab. Growing up in a family that loved and valued nature, I always knew since I was a little girl that I wanted to work to save the natural world but I wasn't very good at science or math, and nor was I encouraged in science or math as a young girl. But then I discovered biology, the science of life. And as soon as I discovered biology, I've never looked back. There's no doubt that to become a scientist, there's some hard work involved. But if you love what you do, that hard work doesn't really feel so hard. Studying seahorses is a way that I can be outside, be appreciating and admiring all of the diversity of life through the eyes of this one little creature. Whatever it is that you love, that's what you want to pursue. The most important thing is to not be indifferent. Many kids I talk to are worried that there isn't anything left to discover, that it's all been already found out, and nothing could be further from the truth. There are so many questions left to ask and so much that yet needs to be discovered. Yes, you need to focus in school, but you don't need to know what you want from the very beginning. I didn't start as a scientist until I was a sophomore in college. So if you follow what you love and work really hard, you will be able to achieve whatever career you want, and your inspiration and enthusiasm will in turn inspire others.